Let's now take examples of compounds which, on which, not which, or for which, on which, yeah. Let's now take example in order to apply the aromaticity rules, if you like, or requirements. And remember, if you recall, again, cyclic, conjugated, flat or planar, and four and plus two, the Huckel, the Huckel rule. If we take um, cyclobutadiene, cyclobutadiene, it's a four-membered uh, uh, ring, of course. If you look at this molecule, you would say you would you would find out that it is cyclic. Of course, there is no question about it. It is cyclic. Uh, is it conjugated? Well, there is a p orbital, obviously, on each of these carbon atoms because this is sb. This carbon atom is sb two hybridized. This is sb two hybridized. That one is sb two, and that one is sb two, and therefore there is a p orbital on each of these um, carbon atoms. So it is um, conjugated. Is it flat? Well, it should be flat. It's a very simple molecule, very simple ring. It is flat or planar. Is it 4m plus 2? Well, the number of pi electrons here is actually 4. Of course, 2 here and 2 here. So there are 4 pi electrons. If it is 4 uh, uh, pi electrons, we need to check, of course, that this is in accordance with the Huckel rule. And if you recall, zero, um, uh, if n is zero, of course, the 4n plus 2 is 2. If n is 1, um, 4n plus 2 is 6. So 4 is actually between, um, uh, in between. So this cannot be aromatic. So in other words, this 4n plus 2 is not 4n, uh, this 4, 4 pi electrons is not 4n plus 2. And therefore, um, cyclobutadiene is anti is anti-aromatic because it has not obeyed the Huckel rule, despite the fact that it is, uh, it has fulfilled other requirements such as the fact that it is cyclic conjugated and and flat. Um, let's take um, naphthalene. This is naphthalene. That's the structure of naphthalene. Um, let's again check the requirements, the usual ones. Is it cyclic? Of course it is cyclic. Is it conjugated? It is conjugated. We can double check. If you look at um, atoms, carbon atoms on naphthalene, you would find out that all of them are actually sb2 hybridized. There is a p orbital on each of them, so there is cyclic conjugation on the naphthalene. Ring. Remember, there is a p orbital on each of them. Is it flat? Of course it is flat or planar. Um, what we need to check next is the number of pi electrons. And of course, there are three, four, five, five pi uh, bonds in this case. And of course, if it's five, therefore, uh, there are 10 uh, pi, 10 pi electrons. What we need to check, of course, is the 4m plus 2, the Huckel rule, if this 10 pi electrons is in accordance with the, with the Huckel rule, is it? Well, if n is 1, okay, it's 6. If n is 2, that's 2 times 4 plus 2, that is 10. So yes, 10 pi electro electrons is actually in, uh, in accordance with um, 4n plus 2. That's if n, equal to, if n equal to 2. So this is in accordance um, uh, with the Huckel rule. So naphthalene has actually obeyed the Huckel rule. It satisfied all four requirements for aromaticity. And therefore, naphthalene is aromatic. So this is an aromatic compound, of course. Uh, that's because it has fulfilled all four requirements. So this is an example of anti-aromatic compound. And that's a naphthalene, cyclobutadiene, of course. And naphthalene is another example or an example of an aromatic compound.